Rule number one is never lose money. Rule number two is never forget rule number one. Only buy something that you'd perfectly be happy to hold if the market shut down for 10 years. Don't watch the market closely if they're trying to buy and sell stocks and worry when they go down a little bit and think they should maybe sell them when they go up. They're not going to have very good results. Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it's marked down. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Opportunities come infrequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. The key to investing is not assessing how much an industry is going to affect society or how much it will grow, but rather determining the competitive advantage of any given company and, above all, the durability of that advantage. Don't try and drive a 9,800-pound truck over a bridge that says it's, you know, capacity 10,000 pounds. But go down the road a little bit and find one that says capacity 15,000 pounds. We can afford to lose money, even a lot of money. But we can't afford to lose reputation, even a shred of reputation. The difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. I measure success by how many people love me. Somebody once said that in looking for people to hire, you look for three qualities, integrity, intelligence, and energy. And if you don't have the first, the other two will kill you. You think about it. It's true. If you hire somebody without integrity, you really want them to be dumb and lazy. I insist on a lot of time being spent, almost every day, to just sit and think. That is very uncommon in American business. I read and think. So I do more reading and thinking and make less impulse decisions than most people in business. I do it because I like this kind of life. Someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. If you're in the luckiest 1% of humanity, you owe it to the rest of humanity to think about the other 99%. The most important thing to do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. No matter how great the talent or efforts, some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women. There comes a time when you ought to start doing what you want. Take a job that you love. You will jump out of bed in the morning. I think you're out of your mind if you keep taking jobs that you don't like because you think it will look good on your resume. Isn't that a little like saving up sex for your old age? It takes 20 years to build a reputation and 5 minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. Should you find yourself in a chronically leaking boat, energy devoted to changing vessels is likely to be more productive than energy devoted to patching leaks. There's class warfare. All right, but it's my class, the rich class. That's making war. And we're winning. It's better to hang out with people better than you. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours and you'll drift in that direction. 
you only have to do a very few things right in your life so long as you don't do too many things wrong. There seems to be some perverse human characteristics that likes to make easy things difficult. You never know who's swimming naked until the tide goes out. Never ask a barber if you need a haircut. I always knew I was going to be rich. I don't think I ever doubted it for a minute. When you combine ignorance and leverage, you'll get some pretty interesting results. What the wise do in the beginning, fools do in the end. In the world of business, the people who are most successful are those who are doing what they love. It's nice to have a lot of money, but you know, you don't want to keep it around forever. I prefer buying things. Otherwise, it's a little like saving sex for your old age. I will tell you the secret to getting rich on Wall Street. You try to be greedy when others are fearful, and you try to be fearful when others are greedy. Games are won by players who focus on the playing field, not by those whose eyes are glued to the scoreboard.